Hey everyone, Doug here. Um, doing a quick, just a little short video on uh, what we're doing for some of our water out here on our uh, little homestead that we're trying to build. You can see my containers back there in the back. Um, we, it's, I don't know, probably I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. Sun's starting to come out, so I've kind of got some stuff moved over here in the shade, and I'm trying to get these um, totes. These are when people talk about having totes. This is what they're talking about for uh, aquaponics, for um, you know, carrying water, whatever. I mean, you can carry anything. You just need to make sure you get the ones that are um, supposedly water safe. Uh, this, these, I've got six of them over there that we've taken apart, and I'm spraying them black. Why am I spraying them black? Because whether you're using them for aquaponics or you're using them for to store water, you need to keep all the light out. The light <clears throat> keeps the uh, algae and stuff from growing in the water. Yeah, you can put um, you know a little bit of um, bleach in it or something like that, and, and that'll help. But you know, if I can get away with not doing that, that's what I'd rather do. Um, you know, there's chlorine in the water most that you drink pretty much anywhere. They, that's probably one of the reasons they put it in there is just slightly enough to keep the water purified and not make the pH levels go crazy um, so that's what I'm doing right now and I just this is just uh, I tested it on one of the other ones that I have I don't know that you can see it from the camera um, this is just little Walmart or um, Home Depot 99 cent black paint yes I could probably do it faster um, with a spray rig or or whatever um, I tried white I was actually and I'm still not uh, totally off the idea of white um, the problem was is I couldn't uh, you know couldn't see the kind of where it was where it was sprayed and where it was not but it was just a quick test um, but the, the white part of it what I liked about it is maybe heat I'm gonna try to keep these out of the Sun if I can um, uh, but you never know you know the sun's going to heat it up maybe we'll use one of them for a, a hot water uh, that that's actually probably a neat little project put a put a uh, have one of them sitting out there open with nothing on it and one like this and see what the water temperature would be on something like 275 gallons but this had some uh, food uh, food grade oil in it uh, some kind of I don't know I don't know what they I have it's on the little thing somewhere I think it's on the the tag but these are food grade, uh, easily connectable through the two inch little bungee thing at the bottom that doesn't look like you can see. So anyway, 275 gallons, um, tote, spray paint it black, and um, then you got, you know, 200, I've got six of them um, that, I'm, that are water safe, or in other words, potentially drinkable water, but we will also run it through our Berkey for the stuff we're going to be drinking. We will probably, I mean, I don't mind using it for, you know, taking a shower. I'll run it through a little filter that we have. Um, we've got two things that I'm planning on doing, but we're still in the very early stages. We don't have a place to live or anything like that. I'm just trying to get my shop stuff back here right now. And a road that's 5,000 feet that way um, to, the, to the main road, and um, which... I think you guys, if you've seen any of my videos, you've seen this before, but I'll kind of show um, this kind of whole area in between these trees that you can see. This is this is our, um, I almost want to call it the urban homestead. It's not really that urban. We are kind of out in, if you want it, I don't want to say the country, but we're kind of out um, a little bit. Let me see if I can get it set back up real quick. Um, we're out, I'll say maybe in the county would be a better term. Um, <clears throat> so, um, let's see if I can get to fix this real quick. When you move a camera, that's what happens. Um, <clears throat> so, getting the, uh, the shop stuff set up so I can get my business back here. I'm, gonna, I'm looking at doing some kind of thing between the two of them and take the ones on this side, move them together and kind of have this whole area as a shop um, put a dirt line across there and put some ferns and stuff like that on it so it will all be hidden because we are I, i'll say we're in a neighborhood we're just in a phase that didn't get um or is not going to get developed at least at this point right now until you know we decide to sell it but um 
So anyway, just wanted to show you one of the projects I was working on today, which is painting six of these big old totes black. And uh, so we can put some water in it. This is where we're going to be holding, holding water. Um, you know, this way I can kind of move them around and I'll probably have a big tank over in here somewhere, a big old huge, you know, two, three thousand gallon tank. But these can be moved around to little places. And I do have access to a well. We don't have a uh, well on our land, but I have access. Um, uh, my family lives not too far that way. And um, I can go and fill these up in the, and put them in the back of my truck and, and bring them down here. And I mean, in, a, in, in probably a day, easily a day, uh, I could probably get, let's see, they're 200, yeah, 1,500, 2,000 gallons in these just in a, in a day's going back and forth um, probably faster than that if I just if I had if I was using two trucks because I could have one being filled up while I'm bringing the other one so anyway I'm just rambling on but this is a uh, racer Doug unplugged uh, on our homestead the homestead's going to be Grubstone homestead um, it's named after my father-in-law who owned all this land or owns all the land and um, I'm going to also have Grubstone aquaponics uh, back on some back land back there. That's what I'm going to try to do. But it's this is a long project. I got I got a lot of stuff I've got to be working on and building a place to live and get this thing done and all the other stuff that we have to do. And you'll probably see I always wear this shirt. I was noticing that the other day. I was looking through some of my videos. I got hundreds of videos I haven't even posted yet, and I've always got this shirt on. Now I think I do have more than one. <clears throat> this was our elite wrestling program um, that that I coached for a few years ago. And I just like it. it's just an old beat up, you know, shirt that, that eventually will fall apart and I'll probably wear something different. I'm just trying to narrow down my clothes so I, I don't have a whole, I used to have a gajillion t-shirts and I probably still do somewhere. I just don't have them all out. But I noticed that the other day. I'm like, man, I always have that shirt on. So anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Like, subscribe, share, um, and all that other good stuff. So take care.